Welcome to Mahama Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about how to create posts and the custom post type grid in the Visual Composer. Click on Add Element. Click on Row. Now add post grid. Even you have post masonry grid. I hope you watched that video that I have already created on the media grid and the media masonry grid. If you'll watch this video, it will be quite easy to understand you the post grid. Go to post grid, choose the data source, you can add any of these options, I want post, you can add the data source by entering your categories, tabs or the custom menu, total item, how much item do you want to show in this post, I want it to be 10, do you want to show all? I want to have a load more button here. You can choose any of these options. Item per page will be 2. Grid element per row will be 2. And next we have a data setting option. You can choose the sending and descending order in this. We have item design. You, you should choose the grid element. Which type of grid do you want? I'll select a grid fit in with site content. Even you can create your own template, even you can modify the selected one. Now go to load more button. What text do you want in a button? Let it be load more. What style do you want? I want it to be 3D. Shape should be 3D. You can choose any of the color, let it be blue size to be normal and alignment to be in center you can choose this option according to your requirement click on save click on update see we have a load more option once you click on load it will load one more page once you click on again load it will load one more page so what are the things we want according to that grid we have selected we want that image and the date we are getting if you don't want date you can edit using that custom option now edit with visual composer you can check it out from the front end also it will be quite easy to see the animation what is going on here now go to this post grid option Now if you want it to be changed, la lazy loading, you can click go to item per page will be 10, click on save, even you can add filter also, click on save. Now go to edit option, click on designation option. Item per page will be four. Click on save. Click on close. Now it will click here. Will change. Once you go to pagination option, here we have what type of arrow do you want? You can choose one of these options. You can choose the pagination style, the dot we are getting here. Here this option dot we are getting that we can edit pagination color. How do you, how your uh, loop should work in your pages? You can edit these options according to requirements. Now click on save changes. Now go to again post it. I'll go to show all. Now I'll change the item design type. I want the item design type to be Go top, slide out. 
click on save click on close now when you hover it's getting slider to dark these are the animation that that you can choose for your post now you see you don't need this title or the accept go to setting go to data uh, item design go to modified one when you hover over that you don't want accept so click delete and click on okay click on update before that you should write the title of that modified click on update now go to your post option choose item design here you should choose modified them click on see that we have created now and click on update now refresh the page when you hover over that you don't want that accept so i want that title only so i'm getting the title even you can create the same work with the post machine retreat post machine retreat i hope you got everything in the tutorial if you have any question or doubt please comment below i'll try my best to answer all those questions see you in the next tutorial thank you